Hello, my name is Tanya Kim, Acting Director of the Seattle Human Services Department. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, a time to raise public awareness about the impact of domestic violence, also known as DV, intimate partner violence, and dating abuse, a pattern of behaviors used to maintain power and control over one's partner in an intimate relationship. This year's theme, Everyone Knows Someone, reminds us that all of us may know a survivor, be a survivor ourselves, or have someone in our lives who is currently a silent victim. Acknowledging this Awareness Month provides an opportunity to let people in your life know that you're here and ready to support them and to listen and to believe them. HSD and our more than 35 community partners provide support for 10,000 individuals and families each year by providing wraparound services uh, including shelter, housing, advocacy, counseling, and legal services. This support is only possible because of our work with the community, service providers, and system leaders who prioritize the health and safety of those who are impacted by violence. Thank you for your longstanding partnership with the Seattle Human Services Department. Ending gender-based violence is a priority for the City of Seattle. Ending violence is a community effort. Thank you, Tanya. And thank you to all of you who are part of this community effort. My name is Rex Brown, and I'm the director of HSD Safe and Thriving Communities Division, which houses the Mayor's Office on Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault, as well as the Crime Victim Advocates Program. On a typical day, pre-pandemic, domestic violence hotlines received approximately 19,000 calls an average of close to 13 calls every minute. In Washington State in 2021, 29 people were victims of domestic violence homicide. Domestic violence doesn't discriminate. It affects millions of people of every race, age, gender, sexuality, religion, education level, or economic status. It's not just physical. It's also yelling, humiliation, stalking, manipulation, financial coercion, threats, and isolation. It's stealing a paycheck, keeping tabs online, nonstop texting, constant use of the silent treatment, or calling someone stupid so often they believe it. Annually, the Mayor's Office on Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault calls on the Mayor and City Council to recognize the efforts of this network of providers and jointly proclaim October as Domestic Violence Awareness Month in Seattle. And next Thursday, October 20th, 2022, we will celebrate Purple Thursday in Seattle. We will be posting selfies wearing purple next week and posting educational information to our social media accounts. Will you join us and use the hashtag Purple Thursday? Joining us this year and lighting up Purple Thursday that evening are The Great Wheel, Columbia Tower, and Lumen Field. Will you show your public support for survivors?